Dear students, a linear transformation is a function which satisfies two properties. As we are working on vector spaces, so we will define that a function t from one vector space to another vector space is called a linear transformation if it satisfies two properties. The first property is that if we take any two elements from the domain V and then add these two elements. After that, apply T on them, then T of U1 plus U2 will be equal to T of U1 plus T of U2. The second property is that if we take any element from our domain V and take some scalar, let us say it is some real number, then T of Cu will be equal to C T of U. Let us explain it by some examples. In this example, we are given a function t which is defined by this relation. So we can see that in the first place, we keep the first element of the domain as it is. And in the second place, we add the first and second element of the domain. This function can also be written as t of x, y, which is a matrix is equal to x, x plus y. It is also a column vector. So now let us check the first property. So for the first property, we take any two elements, u1, which is equal to x1, y1. And we take another element u2, which is equal to x2, y2 from our square. Now let us add these two elements, u1 plus u2. So we get x1 plus x2, y1 plus y2. It is a simple addition of matrices. And now let us find transformation of u1 plus u2. So t of u1 plus u2 is equal to, according to the definition of t, we shall keep the first element as it is. And in the second place, we shall add the first component with the second component. So we get this thing. Let us say this is one. Now we need to find t of u1. So t of u1, u1 is x1, y1. So according to the definition, this can be written as x1, x1 plus y1. And now let us find t of u2. So we have t of the value of u2 is x2, y2, which is equal to x2, x2 plus y2. Now let us add t of u1 with t of u2. So we get, adding these two, we get x1, plus x2 and then we get x1 plus y1 plus x2 plus y2. So we can say that, that this is equation number two. Now from one and two, we can see that t of u1 plus u2 is equal to t of u1 plus 
t of u2 hence the first property is satisfied now to check the second property we need any element from the domain and some constant so then we shall verify this equation let us take some element u1 which is equal to x1 y1 from r square and some constant c from r then multiply c with u1 so we have c x1 c y1 now let us take t of c u1 so this can be written as t of c x1 c y1 using the definition of transformation we keep the first one as it is c x1 and in the second place we add the first element with the second element let us say this is equation number 3 let us find t of c into t of u1 this can be written as t c t of u1 now u1 is x1 y1 applying the definition of transformation we have x1 and then we have x1 plus y1 let us multiply c so we have c x1 c x1 plus c y1 and let us say this is 4 now from 4 from 3 and 4 we can see from 3 and 4 we can see that t of c u1 is equal to c t of u1 so second property of the linear transformation is satisfied so in a simple word we can say t is a linear transformation in this example we are given a new relation t is defined by this one we can see that in the range the first element is zero and the second element is the square of the second element in up the domain to check that this is a linear transformation or not it must satisfy both properties let us see the first property so we take a real number c and any element u from the domain and then multiply c and u so we get cx c y and let us find t of c u this can be written as t of c x c y now according to the definition we can write that the first element is zero and we will square the second element so we can write c square y square let us say this is one now we need to find c n to t of u this can be written as c t of u is x y so according to the definition we can write 0 y square and now let us multiply c with that one so we have c t of u this is equal to 0 c y square let us say this is 2 now from 1 and 2 we can see that t of cu 
is not equal to c t of u so this implies the t is not a linear transformation so if one or both properties are failed then we will say that t is not a linear transformation that's all